Another beautiful morning in Twin Falls, but we're gonna go find some snow. Hey everybody, I'm Kenny, this is Sage of Brush Soul, and we are going to Hillfest today in Ogden, which is a snowmobile hill climb. And yes, last time I vlogged a snowmobile hill climb, I said that was it, I was moving on, wasn't gonna do them anymore. Not because I didn't like them. What I don't like about them is driving in the bad weather, pulling a trailer, and driving at night. I like the style of announcing. I love the people. This is the second one I've done this year. A couple weeks ago, I did the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb again in Jackson Hole. And uh, the plan is just lined up. I didn't think I was ever gonna be able to be available on that weekend again. And, and it worked out that I was. So I went and I did it. And uh, last year was all about the vlog. It was all about documenting my last time doing the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. This year, selfishly, it was all about me and I didn't do any filming. Well, I did. I did film one thing. It is, isn't it? I could just like... <laughs> <laughs> and that kind of sums up the weekend. I went uh, to have fun and hang out with Matt and Tyler and, and I did work. I showed up for work every morning. Maybe a little hungover, but I did show up, get the job done, and just had an absolute blast working with Glenn and the Snow Devils. Uh, but this year, it was about me, and I just didn't take a camera with me at all. I've explained this before, but I think I got some new viewers on the channel now. Rimshaw, which is the Rocky Mountain State Snowmobile Hill Climb Association, is its own entity, and the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb is put on by the Snow Devils in Jackson Hole. So this year I was hired by the Snow Devils to come back and be a part of the program. And even though this race is a Rimshaw race that we're going to now, I got hired by a company called Triple Crown that does major sports productions. And they're kinda, I think they're doing this, they're investing a lot, because it's a hill climb and music festival, to test the marketability and see how these things go hand in hand and see if it's more marketable on a bigger scale. They kind of want to show the leadership of Rimshaw the potential for this event. So they've got a lot of money in marketing. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of bands. And for the first time, this thing is going to be scripted out. And there's a timeline involved. It really reminds me of what Caden does with Monster Truck Insanity Tour on how we're doing this. Unfortunately, all of the material is going to be copyrighted and uh, for that broadcast only. So I will not be able to snag any of that footage. But uh, if nothing else, will go hang out with the racers and the way they've got this lined out and hopefully they set the course so that it is uh, gonna work on the timeline we'll be able to go and enjoy some pretty cool music and uh, we'll be able to get show you a little bit of that I gotta stop up here and grab some gas and uh, we'll keep on heading to Ogden and I'll touch base with you again when we get there Check out all the snow we got here. Believe it or not, this event was canceled last year due to a lack of snow. Stuck behind a bus right now. So this is the parking lot is full. I'm gonna see if I can talk my way into getting into the production area. I got a feeling I'm gonna get shut down and then I don't know how to get there. We made it. It's cold out there. A little bit of a breeze making it pretty nasty. Not instantly, not like not in your face, but extended periods of time I've been out there shooting the breeze with a bunch of racers and the production crew and everything. And uh, my hands are, are pretty cold. I'm already feeling for the bands that are gonna be playing here this weekend. Uh, I'm not a guitar player, but I play a little bit of guitar and my yeah just being out there for a little bit i can't imagine doing a 90 minute set or 
whatever I'm not sure what all they're they're doing here but uh, anyway we're here it's looking good uh, already overcrowded I really want this to be a viable option uh, for the future rimshaw even even whether or not I'm involved in it but uh, with the bigger rigs with the living quarters these trailers are massive uh, that these guys haul their stuff around in so I don't know I'm a little little nervous if this is gonna gonna work I think this is gonna be a great event but with all of the racers taking up all of the parking spectators can be shuttled up which will be good I hope this goes well this is gonna be fun I'm gonna have fun but I'm also gonna get here early so I can park <laughs> bedroom <laughs> like that I got a hole upstairs but oh cool there's the top one thing better would be is if I got to actually spend more time here this is what I'm talking about. It's the kind of place that you'd like to just kick back and relax in, which I'll be doing a little bit of. And uh, thanks to the shower, I don't have to shower in the shop. I got a whole nother deck over here, hang on. That is what they call Wolf Creek. Ah, oh, man. Are you kidding me? I believe they call that the master. And I was gonna stay downstairs in the queen, but it seems like a shame. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying here. We're about 12 minutes from the hill, so not a bad commute. I got a lot of homework to do for the pre-show tomorrow, but this is a little bit all right. Feeling good about this. This race presented a few extra challenges for the racers by actually starting downhill, then it made a big turn and then a double jump before charging up the hill. They did this at a race in Granby, Colorado, and it sounds like the racers really liked it. Stretching the race out over three days instead of the usual two and still using two lanes that allowed for many of the athletes that don't typically get featured on the full racing broadcast to get their well-deserved time on the air. I don't think it worked out exactly as planned, but with a few tweaks, I think it'll be spot on next year. Well, everybody, this is Tracy. He took over as the Rimshaw announcer. And uh, what are your thoughts so far, bud? Man, it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's exciting. It's fun. <laughs> and I can tell you, it's professional. Everybody uh, thinks that we just sit in here and talk, but uh, you got the, <laughs> the world thrown at you the first time you showed, you showed up with the trailer, with all the equipment, with all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of work that goes into it, isn't there? Man, I can tell you, there is a lot of work. And it's funny how it can be so crazy, but come so clean at the end of the day. And it just, uh, it makes sense and it feels good. Absolutely. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can see how busy it is even without everybody thinks this is where the information is and the reality is we know the least out of anybody else. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But anyway, wanted to introduce you guys to Tracy Davis and uh, I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors with this deal. Thanks brother, appreciate it. <laughs> you bet. Speaking of the Flow Racing broadcast, we wrapped up the qualifying days with a post show where we recapped the day and awarded the RLT for the Crazy Chicken Award. This award is presented to the racer that recovers from a crash and still manages to get a time. Tracy and I get to select the winner. Today it was given to Hadley West, the women's pro racer that had to wrestle a 450 pound sled right side up at the bottom of the hill. And after expending what we thought would have been all of her energy, instead of pulling into the pit, she tackled the hill and got a time. Ryan from RLT Photos tried to grab a video of this, but unfortunately the audio didn't come through, but you can check it out on Flow Racing. I snuck out of the trailer a few times to enjoy the bands throughout the day, and it was nothing short of awesome.
professional race was over, there was a locals race and a dash for cash. I took the opportunity to hand over the mics and go spend the last little while outside with my Rimshaw family. All right, well, we got through three days of racing, didn't get much chance to film. Uh, we're doing the locals race and stuff, so I get to get out. I got my buddy Scott here and Tracy are handling the local stuff. So Scott Long. And we actually helped me announce right with this one youngster. year when he was on and the injured list. So right he's doing a bunch of the announcing and right now he's helping in. Tracy. Four goes into five and up and over this jump. Tregan knows how to get it done. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get, this is a kid you're going to watch coming up through the ranks because, uh, you know, with, with his dad helping him out and the backing he's got behind him with Polaris. He's gonna, he's gonna be one to reckon with, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Kenny from Sagebrush Soul calls it best as he knows the Rimshaw circuit very, very well. He has watched over the past few years or many years that he's checked it out and he always knows who's dialing in. This young man, Tregan Phelps, was one on his list. That this is my buddy Trent Hansaker. He knows he's I love him to death. I miss him really bad. Oh, but holy And he watched my Duchesne holy. video, which I think he's the one that did it, yeah because that was boring and now I don't know how this one's gonna turn yeah, out because I didn't get a chance to do any editing or any filming. Be pretty boring. Oh no, no, that's why I got you in it so somebody <laughs> will watch it. All the <laughs> crazy Debbie, right? Not crazy, wild Debbie, no. Okay, she's, crazy. she's rolling with it. This is crazy, okay. And just like that, I'm in Harrison, Arkansas at the Monster Truck Insanity Tour, getting dirty. As you can tell, the backdrop here is just a little bit different. Less than a week ago, we were up on the mountain in Ogden on the snow and uh, I'm in a t-shirt and I'm actually perspiring, which I try not to do. Haven't done for quite some time, but, uh, but I just wanted to take a sec and again, just tell everybody how much I appreciate being able to come back, being invited back. I want to throw out a great big thank you to Triple Crown, Carrie and Chris for putting on Hillfest. I'm in this business. I know the numbers aren't what they wanted, but they also know that it has the potential to grow. And I think that they set the bar pretty high. And I think people are gonna to wanna to come and be a part of it. I think that's the right way to proceed. But a lot of times I don't throw real specific names out because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget people. But I do wanna specifically thank a few people uh, this last weekend that I got to connect with even more so. First and foremost, well, actually, a lot of the Skidoo family. And don't tell them this, but I'm a little more of a Polaris guy. The Rogerses and the Handsakers and the Johnsons. I just think the world of all of you. And uh, even though you like to see, if you can get me to slur my words or don't give a damn about my liver, uh, I just love you. I appreciate it. I appreciate how you guys were one of the first ones to bring me into the family. Jagger Johnson for dubbing me the Sayer of the Rocky Mountain State Hill Climb Association. Now I've passed that torch on to Tracy and uh, I gotta tell you right now, I love that guy. He's got the right attitude. He's got a great voice and give him a minute to settle in and you guys are gonna just wish you'd never heard of Kenny Eggleston. But along with them, the Congers, Sam, you're such an inspiration to me and the boys and uh, of course the Knox boys and Christina, it's just been a blast. And I never thought I'd say this, but Bob Tom, for crying out loud, I had no idea you were that funny or that you had a personality. You're a lucky man to have Amy to bring that out of you because you've been hiding it for a damn long time. But anyway, I just want to wrap this thing up. I love you all. Uh, if you want to see what goes on in Harrison, that'll be coming up in a video a little bit later. And uh, so I go from here to, to Seattle and then Arizona. And I know it always sounds like I'm complaining when I do this, but friends, I never dreamed in a million years that I'd be crisscrossing the greatest country in the world, getting to do something that I absolutely love to do. And uh, I love my job. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul, and may the best of your past be the worst of your future.